Public Q and A presence ask Reddit question. What book have you read that has forever changed the way you view or live life? Introduction to Linear Algebra After the first chapter, I decided I was going to law school. Me literally two weeks into physics. What the fuck are matrices? LOL JK, it wasn't that bad. I figured it out in the end, and that's what counts. I think that's when you kill your mother. No 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 that's matricide. It's actually when you enroll in a college or university. No that that's matriculation. It's a comfy pad you put on your box spring. No, no that's mattresses. I think you mean the sci-fi movie with Hugo Weaving and Keanu Reeves. No that's the Matrix. You confused it with the large pyramid-shaped mountain in the Alps between Switzerland and Italy. No that's Matterhorn. You're thinking of a yellow and orange flower native to Mexico and in the Daisy family. No that's Marigold. You're thinking of the dude who wrote The Simpsons. No that's Matt Groening. You're thinking of when two loved ones finally tie the knot. I had a similar experience with my college calculus 2 class. I realized that it was too tedious and awful to keep studying as an engineer. I am a CS major and I got to take this class SMH. I am a math major and let me tell you, linear algebra is one of the easiest upper level math classes you'll do fine. Mechanical engineer here. I second this. Linear algebra really isn't all that hard tbh. Dead face with tears of joy face with tears of joy, I was there too at one point, but decided to trudge along, and now I am in my fourth year of a mathematics degree. Sigh. Subreddit they did the math. Subreddit they did them instramath. The Count of Monte Cristo. I have no idea what it did to me, but after I finished it I knew I was no longer the same person. Also the name of a great sandwich. I have no idea what it did to me, but after I ate it I knew I was no longer the same person. This was going to be my answer too, and I feel the same way about it. I have heard this before. Can you elaborate? I'll try my best but it's a bit challenging to describe. Everything about the book, the characters, the plot, the language, etc., it all drew me in, and I found myself absolutely held captive by it. Each character has different motivations and desires, and each told me something new and different about the human condition. They felt like real people to me in a way that I have never before experienced from any book, and I read a lot because it all just seemed so genuine. I felt that not only could I deeply relate to many of them, but I could also envision versions of each of them in people who appear in my life, and that I now understood those people better as a result. Almost before I knew it, I had read the whole thing and hungered for more which I knew would never come, and could never come, not only because the author has been dead for a long, long time, but because the ending was so immensely perfect and well suited to the circumstances that I knew it was over. And it has such a sense of rightness to it that I wasn't even mad that I couldn't read more tales of these characters. Somehow I just knew when I had finished the book that I wasn't the same person, because never before had so many different aspects of life been presented to me so clearly and endearingly. I feel I have a better understanding of human nature now as a result, as strange as that may seem. In short, it's a long ass book but so incredibly worth it, particularly if you have little to no knowledge of the plot and the characters. It's simply a delight to read unawares, and I truly wish that I had read it earlier in my life. But who knows, maybe it came at the time I needed it most. P.S. Don't watch any of the movies until after having read the book. Each and every one of them screws it up massively and ruins what I consider to be the perfect ending. I love to read, but have never read the book. I am going to now. Thanks. Make sure you get the right version. 
There is a very short translation that cuts out story, the right translation that keeps all the important parts, and the long version that is almost unreadable. Dumas wrote the book chapter by chapter for a weekly publication, an old-fashioned magazine. They paid him by the page, so he ended up writing pages upon pages of information irrelevant to the plot just to make a little extra. It will be hard to get through if you have to trudge through all that. So, which is the right version? I heard the Penguin Bus version is best, and it's what I have. And yes, this is the funnest book I have ever read. I don't know about those guys, but I became wiser at the end of it. Like the book taught me the art of patience and planning and seeing it through. It's like I became a century-old monk having that final epiphany. And I don't even mean using this skill in a malicious way. It just literally taught me to be patient, and that has freed me from a lot of aggravation. I read The Phantom Tollbooth at a young age, and it changed the way I viewed the world. One of my favorite quotes from the book. So many things are possible just as long as you don't know they're impossible. The quote, if you want sense, you'll have to make it yourself changed my life. Yes. Possibly my earliest read, and honestly I primarily remember the watchdog, the dog with a watch in the middle. Is that right? but also infused me with a sense of and desire for adventure and exploration. My parents owned that book when I was growing up, but we also weren't allowed to talk about ghosts. Phantom is another word for ghost, so I always figured my parents kept the book around as a trap to catch us looking at ghost stuff. Still haven't read it, sadly. Yes, I love that book so much. I remember the cookies shaped like letters when the seller explained how vowels taste the best which is why people use them the most, and letters like Z and Q are kind of bitter so people don't like saying them. The boy who floated with his head at his adult height, and his feet got closer to the ground as he got taller. The world's tallest dwarf not to be confused with the world's shortest giant, the world's fattest thin man, or the world's thinnest fat man. So much excellent wordplay and Alice in Wonderland type logic. It absolutely shaped the way I see the world today. Now SHH. Be very quiet. For it goes without saying. This one made a big impression on me when I was young, too. I read this countless times as a child. BRB, going to buy it again. The Phantom Tollbooth is such a good friggin' book man. This is my favorite book of all time. From the opening page when Milo was home, he wanted to be out, and when he was out he wanted to be home. Fuck man. Who can't relate to feeling that way sometimes. Of Mice and Men. Seriously scarring but effective. Are there online copies I can read? I really want to start reading again. Web address. I am a freshman and for virtual classes, we got assigned to read it this week. I still haven't but I guess now I know what I have to look forward to. I hope you enjoy it. It's one of those books that I thought about for days after I finished reading it. What's it about? The Great Depression, Migrant Workers, and the Predatory Nature of Human Existence and rabbits. Dune. The pragmatism is real. It cuts through politics and religion like a hot knife through butter. It's like reading The Prince, but applied to a very cool and original sci-fi world. I am trying to read it right now, it's been hard to find the time to get into it though. The audiobooks are very well done. A lot of different voice actors which help understanding all the different characters. One day on a hiking I went down a cascade, but did not realize the water was going too fast for me being able to swim. Siding there for almost 20 minutes tied up to my gear having to climb a huge rock to get to a safe place while being what I felt fear as never before in my life, and all that came to my mind was I must not fear. 
Fear is the mind killer. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. Only I will remain. It helped me. Good read, but it can be kind of dry. That's Iraqis for you. Spitz. That's a pun, right? Or was that unintentional? Either way I spit my drink out. 1984 This book seemed so prescient that I was depressed for a week after reading it in 1999. Wait till I spoil 2020 for you. That book solidified my opposition to authoritarianism. Yeah. Me too. Sweats nervously. I used to love authoritarianism, but that book changed my mind. I literally just got it today from Amazon. I have never read it before. I am going to start it soon. Enjoy. It's the only book that's made me feel like my stomach dropped. Probably pick up a copy of Brave New World, too. Praise Ford. The concepts of true doublespeak and newspeak are something that blew me away about 1984. Two things that are happening now. Truly mind-blowing. You should check out We by Yevgeny Zamyatin. Written in 1920 and considered to be one of if not the first dystopian novel. Was written while Zamyatin was in prison I think. Kind of funny fact is Orwell basically accused Huxley of copying We to write Brave New World and Huxley straight denied it. What makes the accusation funny to me is 1984 rips off We a lot more than Brave New World rips off We. Without We we wouldn't have 1984, Brave New World, and possibly all of the book series young adults love today like Hunger Games, The Divergent series, The Giver and Maze Runner and so many others. Edit. For clarity. Man's search for meaning. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing. The last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Victor E. Frankel. In my opinion, it is a must read. I read that book while being a passenger stuck in an 14 hour traffic jam. If Victor can make it through his struggles, so could I. Great book. For those looking for meaning during all of this. Every man and woman has a meaning in their life. It may change from time to time, but you find what you're supposed to do and work towards it. Free on Audible right now. The Giver. I remember reading that book in sixth or seventh grade and just being blown away. I had never experienced a book like that before and it really had a huge impact on me. I would add I am the cheese along with it. I agree though I couldn't read I am the cheese. I read this at least once a year. It's still one of my favorites I was ever made to read. Seconded. Also the hatchet, which I really got invested into in a way I had never been invested in a book before. Wow. You are still with us. Thanks for being such a nice person. As long as you are here, why not like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also you can press the bell icon, so you won't miss any future uploads.